Che Blythe brought Great Britain II out of the morning mist south of the Isle of Wight hours before he or anyone else expected it. Before dawn today, over the ship-to-shore radio, Blythe said he didn't expect to be in before 6 o'clock tonight. In fact, we sighted him about 11 o'clock this morning, the first of the 17 massive boats to complete the 27,000-mile Whitbread Round the World race, which started from Portsmouth 144 days ago. 178 people began that race, 175 completed it, three lost overboard. Blythe spoke to me briefly. Well, I think we're all right. We're all very high. We're very pleased to be here. This is the uh, first line we've seen since the left reel. How's Great Britain 2 gone? You happy with her? Um, yes, it's a very good boat. Very fast. Um, we haven't reached our potential by any means. The Navy was on hand to make the welcome official, although it was one tinged with regret that after a magnificent effort, Great Britain II was not the outright winner. That honor goes to the Mexican catch Sayula II on handicapping, but you wouldn't have known that today. Within minutes, the families of the paratrooper crew were alongside to shout their greetings, and when the vessel finally crossed the line, the welcome was for a winner, whatever the handicappers may say. Royal Naval Ratings pulled the vessel alongside for the inevitable customs inspection, which kept everyone, including the families, apart for something like 15 minutes more. But then came the news that millionaire Jack Hayward, who financed the Great Britain II, had presented the £150,000 boat to Blythe as a gift, a more than adequate substitute for the silver trophy that goes to the winner. I asked Blythe what he'd achieved by his voyage. Well, it puts the name Great Britain around the world for a start. Um, also, of course, you see, it's, uh, I mean, if you're not going to sail and do things, it, you know, you might as well pack up and call it a day, and, you know. I mean, anybody can just, just, you know, do nothing. It's like the guy who goes out and trains in his spare time. you just got to do something. So you're struggling all the time. If you're not struggling, well... Well, what's the next struggle you're going to undertake? Don't know if you have any suggestions. I wouldn't dream of it. 